This is how narcissists trap you to make you look like the problem. Tired of constantly dealing with narcissists who seem to make you the problem? Let's turn the spotlight on how to break free from their manipulative tactics and build healthy relationships instead. Today's video dives into seven sneaky tricks narcissists use to shift blame onto you. These tactics are all about making you look like the troublemaker so they can dodge responsibility for their own actions. Understanding these patterns is crucial for protecting yourself and finding peace. Now let's uncover those seven clever ways narcissists manipulate and shift the blame. Hit that like button, subscribe for more valuable content, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us continue to provide tips and tools for navigating these tricky dynamics. Let's get started on reclaiming your peace and understanding these manipulative tactics. Number one, blaming you for their moods. Narcissists may try to place the blame for their moods squarely on your shoulders. If they are upset or irritable, they might assert that you are the cause of their distress. By making you responsible for their emotional state, they manipulate you into accepting blame for their mood swings and emotional instability. Number two, making feeble excuses. Narcissists often resort to weak excuses when they make mistakes or are in a poor mood. They might blame external factors like stress or a bad night's sleep for their behavior. Instead of taking responsibility for their actions and emotions, they shift the blame to you, suggesting that your behavior somehow intensified their negative mood. Number three, using intimidation to challenge boundaries. When you establish boundaries, narcissists may resort to intimidation tactics. They might label you as selfish or accuse you of causing disruptions for simply maintaining your own limits. Their intention is to break down your boundaries and induce guilt, making you question your right to assert yourself. Number four, projecting narcissism onto you. In a time when narcissism is widely discussed, narcissists might accuse you of being narcissistic yourself. This tactic, known as projection, allows them to deflect attention from their own narcissistic behaviors by casting the same label on you. It's a way for them to avoid accountability and confuse the issue. Number five, provoking arguments. Narcissists excel at provoking arguments to create conflict. When a discussion about a project or differing opinions arises, they'll focus on criticizing rather than seeking to understand your point of view. Instead of recognizing your feelings or needs, they'll dismiss and argue against them. When you react emotionally, they feel a sense of satisfaction as it reinforces their belief that you're the issue. Number six, Demanding justification. Narcissists often require you to constantly justify your feelings, actions, or perspectives. For example, if you share a preference or opinion, they might challenge it and insist on further justification. They'll attempt to discredit your explanations, making you feel as if you're irrational or unstable, while their real aim is to undermine your stance. Number seven, criticizing independent thought. Another tactic is to shame you for thinking independently. Narcissists might attack you for having your own preferences or methods, interpreting your autonomy as a rejection of their significance. Their goal is to pressure you to conforming to their wishes and diminish your sense of self. Narcissists often employ cunning tactics to wear you down, making you question yourself and feel defeated. Over time, this can lead to self-doubt, emotional instability, anxiety, and social withdrawal. Their goal is to manipulate and control, stripping away your sense of self. By recognizing these tactics, you can better protect your self-esteem and maintain your dignity. Practicing the gray rock method, remaining neutral and disengaged can help you navigate these manipulative behaviors. Always remember you have the right to be yourself and should never let someone else define your worth. I hope this video sheds light on how to handle narcissistic behavior effectively. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insights and strategies, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Share this video with anyone who might benefit from these tips. Your journey to reclaiming your peace and self-worth is important, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. Leave your thoughts and experiences in the comments below Let's continue to empower each other. Thanks for watching, 
and I'll see you in the next video.